Okay, fine. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about another way to do retargeting, which is Google Ads. Now I'm a huge fan of uh, targeting Google Ads with YouTube advertisement because our customers, if they will come to my site, I'm very sure they will definitely gonna go to YouTube because YouTube is the second largest search engine, which is again owned by Google. So as you can see, if I go to campaign, I'll just show you. Let's say uh, if I do it for last 15 days, let's check this quickly. Let's just give an example. So you see that these are all on YouTube campaigns. You can see that website retargeting campaign. So before you go in with retargeting on YouTube or let's say display campaign or let's say search retargeting, it's very important to uh, connect three things. You have to connect three things. Number one, you have to connect uh, uh, Google Ads with analytics and analytics with YouTube. Right. So these three platforms should be uh, connected because we're going to build audiences, right? So we're going to build audiences in Google Ads and we're going to build audiences in Google Analytics. I'll just give you a quick idea so you can see that this is Google Ads and this is my uh, uh, ID. I'll go to my YouTube channel. So you can see that I'm on my YouTube channel. And what I'm going to do is so make sure that you log in the YouTube channel. Now, in, in my scenario, I'm having uh, all these three platforms having three different Gmail IDs and that's why I need to connect them all but in case if you have only one gmail id if you have got every property with the same gmail id let's say uh, google ads you're using uh, and you're using same gmail id and same gmail id you, you're using for youtube and same gmail id you are using for analytics then uh, it will run automatically you don't have to do much work but uh, even if you have you know different email ids no worries because you can still connect them all so let's i'll just give you a quick idea you see that i'll go to my channel uh I'll go to my YouTube studio and uh, so you can see that so go to your channel so let's say if you want to target people on youtube it's very important that i should have a good channel i should have uh, you know subscribers on my channel that's very important so let's see you can see uh you can see i'll go to settings and then what i'll do is i'll go to advanced settings you can see the channel advanced settings okay so number one is make sure that this should not be uh, uh checked this should be unchecked advanced channel settings and you see here uh, which is google analytics property uh, tracking id so make sure that and you can say link and adwords account so that's very important let me check this is uh pranveda because i need to check this if i'm on wrong gmail id so you see that this is all connected so make sure that link and adwords account so click here and then put customer ID here. So you can see here, this is the customer ID, put that is here. And when you put that, so let's I'll copy this. And once I put here, you can see I can click on next and then give a name. And once that is done, you know, you'll find it here. And then what you have to do is, uh, you can go to uh, Google Ads. And then what you do is go to link accounts. And what you have to do is you have to give permission or you have to enable that so this is just an idea uh, it's not that difficult so let's say find google uh, ads here okay you can see sorry you can see google analytics here on youtube here so will you click here youtube and you'll find the channel here and make sure that you click on link and it will be done right and next is as i showed you here you can also put uh, you know uh, which is link and address account and make sure that you put here as well, which is analytics ID. So let's say I'm into my analytics account. I'll just show it to you. So this is on my analytics account. And if I go to my admin, uh, you can see that uh, our property settings, you can go to property settings. You see that this is what I'm tracking as of now. So make sure that you click this and then go again back To YouTube right so we'll go to YouTube quickly uh, advanced settings and make sure that put it here and then when, when it is done click on save option and then what you do is uh, you go to Google Ads again so you go to Google Ads again and go here and go with linked accounts and go to Google Analytics and find that analytics here so make sure that you click, click on link option so that's how you want to connect everything so uh, so this is a very simple step just do this and then you are ready to create an audience and what we're going to do is we'll go to uh, google analytics so it says so where are we going to build audience number one we can build audience in google analytics 
you see that I'll go to that property, which is brand new, the corporate uh, new website, and you can see that uh, audience definition. So click here and click on audiences, and then here you're going to build that audiences. So I'm going to build that audience. Let's say I want to build audience, someone coming onto my page website. I'm going to build that audience. So let's say I'm having huge traffic at my home page, or let's say I want to build audience for all the visitors. You see that this is all I've created. So new audience, you see that all visitors. So you can, you can click on all visitors and you can name this. There are a lot of options here. You can always check this option, so which is important. And then once you create this audience, you can find this audience in Google uh, Ads. So let's say if I go to Google Ads, if I go to the audience manager, you will see all audience here. So I just give you a quick idea. And here we're going to build uh, some other audiences as well. You can see audience sources. So we can build a lot of audience. You can see Google Analytics. So here you want to build, you want to check your audiences. So audience list. I will tell you how we can create this, but this is important. So now uh, audience source. So I'm going to build an audience list. So you see that website list or YouTube users. So once you connect, you know, uh, Google Ads with YouTube, you can see, check your channel here. And you can build audience from here. So viewed any video from a channel or viewed certain videos. So so if someone viewed my channel, I'm gonna make that audience, or someone has viewed particular videos, I can build an audience. So what it means is let's say if I click on video, I viewed any video from my channel. So I'll give you a quick idea. So my channel has got around a thousand subscribers, close to thousand subscribers. So let's say I'll go here, I'll click on cancel option. Let's say if I go to analytics, if I go to analytics, you see that. Uh, so you can always check this. So I think I'm on. Okay, fine. So uh, so see that this is a channel. So I want to make sure that someone watching my video on YouTube, they should be seeing my ad on YouTube. So that's uh, really very important that I can always do. If I want to start advertising on YouTube or let's say if I want to start advertising, someone watching my video, if they go to any website, they should see my ad, I can do that part as well. But very specifically, if I want to do it on YouTube, so I need to build audience from here. So whether I want to show this on YouTube on some other websites, I have to build audience from here. And then I can always create, I can name this audience, let's say viewed, so viewed videos channel. So that is important. Then you can always create this. So I've created this, and what uh, uh, Google will do is Google gonna uh, populate uh, cookies. Uh, so I've created a lot of, lot of audiences from here. And then what you have to do is you have to just create a campaign. So you can create, you know, uh, you can create another list, which is let's say uh, website visitors. So I want to make a list of people who are my site. So I've done this with that with Google Analytics. You can also create audience from here. Visitor of a page, or visitor of a page who also visited another page. So I can create an audience, let's say home page audience. I'm just giving an idea, or let's say DM course page for example, and put that URL here equals, uh, and then uh, you can always create an audience. So let's say this is a home page for example, so I can always create an audience, or let's say equals digital marketing course, put that URL. This is just an idea. And then you can always click an audience. So, so this is how you are actually building an audience. And then once you are ready with the campaign, what you can do is uh, you can go to Google and say, I want to start a YouTube campaign. So uh, I'll go to overview, I'll go to campaign. You can see that these are all campaigns. So I'm going to click on campaign YouTube. And then you need to learn uh, like what kind of ads you can show it on YouTube. So whether it's in stream or on stream or bumper ads or skippable or non skippable 15 second ads. Uh, let's say so there are a lot of options so I go and click on new campaign option this is so important so we are building so objectives we're building audience on the website we're building audience on our YouTube so let's say I uh, create a goal this is a video so I want to start the video campaign let's say I want to start with in stream or discovery ads <laughs> so I can always start with this so I'll show you how we can do this. So let's say I want to start with a video in stream. 
let's say I want to target someone, so this is video retargeting. So someone watching my video, I want to uh, make sure that they see my ad on YouTube as well. So this is video retargeting. And then I'm going to use CPV campaign total. So let's say I've got 100 rupees a day. So I'll change it to, uh, let's say, daily budget. And then you see the networks. So anyways, I'm going to use, uh, you see here, uh, so in stream video discovery ads. So I only want to start advertising on YouTube. You can always put a language which is English. And then if you want to target people from India, you can target uh, uh, India or you can keep them the But what do you keep in mind? If you are targeting, you know, people who have seen the video on YouTube, they might be from a lot of places. So I'm going to keep it India, no problem. And then I'm going to keep standard inventory. And uh, let's say this is okay, but uh, so I'm going to use uh, some options. You can check these options. And then I'm going to create custom audience, which is a uh, video retargeting. This is so important. So let's say I will not do anything demographic. I'll go to audiences. So this is important. So you have to see it here. So let's say you can see browse. And then you can see custom audiences. You can see that who have interacted with the business, YouTube users. You can see that. So I've created all this view the channel or view the any video so today also we have created one so i'm not sure what name i have given it uh, but i can check this option so you can see that we'll get to know some ideas we're gonna have 190k impressions and then we're gonna have a bidding let's say two rupees when someone view my video and then i'm gonna put a video so let's say i need to find a testimonial so i'll write let's say brand with our testimonial this is an instagram ad Let's say and then skip all in stream, that's it done. And then I'm gonna put in URL, let's say brand with a You see that the idea of in stream ad is to have you know uh, uh, people uh, uh, from YouTube they should come to my landing page. And then you can see here I get how many views I can see impressions, uh average CPV and uh, uh, budget, and then uh Okay, fine. So I'm gonna write this is testimonial. This is just my idea. And then boom, done. It's all. So I've created that campaign. Now we can see some statistics. I need to put some money before I start with this campaign. But I'll show you some campaigns. So I go to all campaign. I'll, I'll talk about video retargeting and website. So let's say you can see there are a lot of campaigns. So you see that if we talk about interaction rate, which is CTR, people who actually clicked. You see, uh, retargeting. So I will do it for last 30 days. This is just an idea. You can see that uh, it will get loaded quickly. So you can see the video retargeting. You see 30.6. So this is important. And you see, uh, this is video retargeting. You, you can see the 24.89, 389 views. Impression you see, average cost is very less, so I'm having uh, I'm spending around so we can always customize. But this is just an idea. So, you see, uh, this is video retargeting again. So, you see that 24.89. So, you see that this is having huge CTR. It's gonna be there because I'm actually showing that to someone on YouTube who has actually watched my video uh, previously on YouTube. So, you can see that this is so important. Uh, so we have run a lot of campaign, but uh, this is how you can run a campaign. Uh, so I advise that you should always targeting a uh, website visitor plus, you know, our uh, YouTube. I love this combination. I'll show you that combination. You see, I'm running a lot of campaigns. Uh, I go with, let's check this. Website visitors, you see that 24.7. Average cost, cost is so less. I'm having good impression and views. So this is an idea what we should be always doing this.